Only three races remained and Lauda only lacked one point to be officially crowned champion. Another internal drama had shaken Ferrari. When they learned that Lauda's successor was to be Gilles Villeneuve, Lauda persuaded his chief mechanic, Hermano Cuoji, to go with him to Brabham the following season. When Ferrari discovered that, he decided to sack the traitor in the middle of the warm-ups. Lauda was livid and only started in order to make the last point that was synonymous with the title. Well, James Hunt took his sixth pole of the season at Watkins Glen Circuit. Beside him, Hans Stuck, who produced his best qualifier and showed what he could do during the first 14 laps on a wet track. In the end, the German driver had a good second half to his season, whilst his teammate Watson had gradually faded as though his initial bad luck had sapped his strength. Stuck was eliminated when he came off the track and James Hunt took control. The English driver held on until the end to pocket his second victory of the season. He was in front of Andretti and Schechter. Place fourth, Lauda pocketed three points, which definitively crowned him champion. Without his accident at the Nürburgring in 1976, he could have won three consecutive titles, a feat no one had achieved since Fangio. A real proof that Lauda was the best driver of his generation showing amazing efficiency and a computer for a brain. Bearing out his nickname that he'd been given early on.